In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to use Global Material Override to quickly add reflections into your scene. Here I have a car model that I imported using Cinema 4D Release 17's new OBJ import, which has lots more options than previously, including the option to bring in all the materials. But all of the materials come in flat, and of course, I need to add some reflection on this car. Well, Cinema 4D does have this issue where you can't multi-edit reflections, so if I just select a bunch of materials and add reflectance, I can't easily add them to all the materials. But what I can do is use the new material override option. So for this, what we'll go ahead and do is create a new material, and I'm just going to add my reflectance settings in this material. So we'll delete the specular, and I'm going to add a new GGX. I'm going to remove all the specular strength, add just a little bit of roughness, and we'll go down here to the Fresnel and add a dielectric Fresnel. And uh, 1.35, we'll just stick with that for now. And I'm going to go ahead and drop the layer mask amount to maybe 75%. We'll see how that works. Now to apply this reflection over all of my materials, what I can do is go into the render settings and enable the new material override option. And I'll just drag this new reflectance material, and in fact, let's rename this reflectance, or just REFL. And I'm going to drag it onto the custom material slot. Now what I need to do is preserve all of the material options here except reflectance. So I'm going to check all of the options here other than reflectance. I'm going to leave reflectance unchecked so that it is overridden by my new material that I created. Now if there are specific materials that I don't want to be reflective, I can just leave this mode on exclude and drag those into this materials list here. In this case, I just want to make everything reflective to start out, but of course I need a little bit more in the scene to reflect. So I'm going to create another new material just by double clicking in the material editor. We'll jump into the content browser and I'm going to search in the presets for uh, HDRIs. So I'm just going to search HDR. And uh, here we have a number of HDR maps that come in the preset library. Let's just find something that looks kind of car environment like. Uh, maybe the sunset right here, I like that one. So we'll go ahead and open this new material we created and enable just the luminance channel. And we'll drag that HDR right over the texture slot. Now we'll just go ahead and create a sky object and apply the HDR image to the sky. Now I just want to go ahead and switch into physical render and let's go ahead and make this a progressive render and we can go ahead and hit the render button and now you'll see that as easy as that we created nice reflections on all of our materials in the scene. Now of course if you want to get in and tweak individually this option doesn't work but if you just need to quickly add reflections on all of your materials or most of your materials uh, this is a handy new option with the material override in Cinema 4D Release 17.